October 9, 2024. Wednesday of the 27th week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brethren, after fourteen years I went up again to Jerusalem with Barnabas, taking Titus along with me. I went up because of a revelation and set before them, though privately before those who seemed influential, the gospel that I proclaim among the Gentiles, in order to make sure I was not running or had not run in vain. On the contrary, when they saw that I had been entrusted with the gospel to the uncircumcised, just as Peter had been entrusted with the gospel to the circumcised. For he who worked through Peter for his apostolic ministry to the circumcised worked also through me for mine to the Gentiles, and when James and Cephas and John, who seemed to be pillars, perceived the grace that was given to me, they gave the right hand of fellowship to Barnabas and me, that we should go to the Gentiles and they to the circumcised. Only, they asked us to remember the poor, the very thing I was eager to do. But when Cephas came to Antioch, I opposed him to his face, because he stood condemned. For before certain men came from James, he was eating with the Gentiles, but when they came he drew back and separated himself, fearing the circumcision party. And the rest of the Jews acted hypocritically along with him, so that even Barnabas was led astray by their hypocrisy. But when I saw that their conduct was not in step with the truth of the gospel, I said to Cephas before them all, if you, though a Jew, live like a Gentile and not like a Jew, how can you force the Gentiles to live like Jews? The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm Response Go into all the world and proclaim the Gospel. O praise the Lord, all you nations, acclaim Him, all you peoples. Go into all the world and proclaim the Gospel. For His merciful love has prevailed over us, and the Lord's faithfulness endures forever. Go into all the world and proclaim the gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia. You have received the spirit of adoption as sons, by whom we cry, Abba, Father. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus was praying in a certain place, and when he finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, as John taught his disciples. And he said to them, When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, for we ourselves forgive everyone who is indebted to us. And lead us not into temptation. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflection. Wednesday, 27th week in Ordinary Time. Today's first reading gives us a unique insight into a serious disagreement in the Church of Antioch between Peter and Paul two of the most significant leaders in the early church. Paul accused Peter of not respecting the true meaning of the good news or, in a more literal translation, not acting consistently with the truth of the gospel. The disagreement between them concerned whether or not members of the church from a pagan background were expected to keep Jewish food laws, as members of the church from a Jewish background did. The issue of the relationship between Jews and pagans within the early church was a complicated one and there were different views on it. No doubt Peter, in acting as he did, would have regarded himself as respecting the true meaning of the gospel. Committed believers have always had different views as to what constitutes the truth of the gospel, in relation to a whole variety of issues. Peter and Paul may have disagreed strongly on this occasion but for many years afterwards they each preached the gospel in different parts of the Mediterranean world and each of them was put to death for the truth of the gospel in the persecution of the church in Rome by Nero around the year 64 AD. Although they may have disagreed on one particular issue in the church of Antioch, they went on to show themselves united on the fundamentals of the faith. What are the fundamentals of the faith? They are to be found in the creed we recite every Sunday. They are also to be found in the prayer that Jesus gave his disciples in today's Gospel reading. We are to be united in the fundamental task of helping to create a space for the coming of God's kingdom. We are to be united in praying for and working for daily bread for all of God's people, both physical and spiritual bread. We are to be united in our shared recognition of ourselves as sinners before God and in our shared willingness to pass on to others the forgiveness we have received from God. We are to be united in looking to God for the strength to remain faithful to the truth of the gospel when our faith is put to the test by forces hostile to the gospel.